Hey guys, Shake here, and today I am here with week number one of the PMC, the Pokemon Masters Cup, and we have week one uh, versus uh, Mego. Uh, he or I don't know, I don't know if, um, if, if it's boy or girl, but uh, they're the coach of the Hamlets and Toracats. Uh, so, but before I get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Blue Rogue for joining my mods and to Johnny GP for. Um, recording this match so yeah thank you guys for that um now let's, let's get into team matchup uh my uh my team if you remember consists of garchomp megalade tangrowth klefki greninja thunderous therian croat mesprit vaporeon pyloswine and gigalith and his consists of terrakion zapdos mega slowbro sidui zygarde 10 percent silvali granville audino registeel drapion and volcarona now, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think his draft is, uh, the best. I feel like it's, uh, lacking some key components, but it's still a pretty solid draft, um, but, uh, I do feel like my matchup in this game is pretty solid. Uh, so, um, yeah, let, let's get into the, uh, team that I built. Uh, so the first one I, I put on my team was, uh, Mixed Defensive Pile of Swine. Um, this mod can, like, set up rocks for me, um... It could also it could also uh, search the Zapdos pretty well. Um, it was also and like hit hit it with an ice school crash. Uh, it could also take a hit from uh, Volcarona and kill it with a rock slide. Uh, and and yeah, it could it could deal with it could deal with Red Steel. Um, it could take a hit from a uh, non Scarf Terrakion and or from a Scarf Terrakion. It could also um. Uh, take take on Zygarde ten percent pretty well. So yeah, it's just it's dual stabs plus um uh plus um it, it being able to set up rocks this game was just really nice. Um it was tough for me to pass up, so yeah. Um next up we've got uh especially defensive Klefki. Uh this one is here to um basically basically just set up spikes. Um I've got Dual status Thunder Wave and Toxic, and then Heal Block. So I don't have attacking an attacking move. Uh, that that can uh, potentially come back to bite me in the match. But um, overall, it's a pretty solid mon. Uh, it was kind of what I put in the last slot because uh, I didn't really know what to put in the last slot. But Klefki is always pretty solid. It could just throw out whatever status you need, set up spikes, be be a general annoyance. So uh, yeah. Uh, ne next mon, uh, physically defensive. Uh, Tangrowth with Leaf Storm, Knockoff, Sleep Powder, and Earthquake. Um, this mod is pretty much there to be my Zygarde 10% uh, answer. Um, I've got Knockoff stuff like Decidueye. I can knock off Zapdos leftovers. Sleep Powder is nice if I want to put stuff like uh, Zapdos and uh, Zapdos and uh, Volcarona to sleep. Um, uh, this thing is basically my uh, best. Uh, it's the, it's, the, it's the closest thing I have to a switch into uh, Terrakion. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah. Um, Leaf Storm is there, so I can do a ton to Slowbro. They could potentially Oko it. Does a ton to Zygarde. Uh, I just felt like Leaf Storm was better than Giga Drain this match. But, um, yeah, next mine regard Scarf Thunder is Therian. Uh, Thunderbolt, Voltage, Knockoff, and Hidden Power Rise. There's actually a Jenning issue here. Uh, I was supposed to have a uh, Smackdown over um, Knockoff. Smackdown was for Volcarona, so like if Volcarona was like at like at least as uh, if it was like we can at least like 60% and it was plus one, I can come in with my Scarf Thunders and re revenge it with a uh, Scarf Smackdown. But uh, I I it, it, it basically uh, I thought I put it on, but um, I didn't. Like I had it there on first, then I changed the set around. And, um, I, I, I think I, my intent was to take off knockoff, was to, uh, take off knock, was to take off, um, knockoff for Hidden Power Ice, but I accidentally took down Smackdown for Hidden Power Ice, because originally I didn't have Hidden Power Ice, but, um, it's fine, uh, uh, next mod guys is a really important mod, uh, Swords Dance, Swords Dance, um, Garchomp with Dual Stab and Dragon EMZ. Uh, the Dragon EMZ is so I could actually I could actually uh, Oko Meg Slowbro if I'm plus two with the de Devastating Drake after three layer spikes it's guaranteed 
So that's really important. That's why the spikes are important. If I can hazard stack him, it'll be really tough for him to beat my Garchomp. Um, as, as you can see, he only brought uh, one thing that uh, can outspeed my outspeed my Garchomp, which is the Zygarde, which is good to know. Uh, so I can potentially even late game sweep with my Garchomp. So yeah, um, and also for my last mod, I have Expert Belker Ninja, uh, Max Special Attack, Timid, uh, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse, and Taunt. That's all the coverage I really needed for his team. Taunt is good for uh, taunting fat stuff such as uh, Audino, Registeel, um, I, uh, Drapion from getting up T spikes because I, I did I did realize in prep. Uh, toxic spikes are huge threats to my team, so if he brings Drapey on, I'm gonna lead uh, with with um, my Greninja and Taunt it, but um, he didn't bring it, thankfully, so. But yeah, Taunt is still overall pretty good. Uh, I can talk to Silver if it's getting too annoying with Calm Minds, and uh, basically the, the, that coverage is all I need to run through his team. I do a KO everything pretty much, besides like Audino and Bulky Silvali, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the match. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going up against Mego. Um, he brought the Slow Road, Sage Revival, Burn, the Silvali, Zygarde, and Audino. He did not bring the Terrakion, which is pretty pretty good to um, see. As, uh, yeah, so we are now challenged by Pokemon Trainer Addison. Um, so, as he leads with uh, Entrance, which is the S Slow Road, as, uh, I lead off with my pilot swine. I I let off with my pilot swine because uh, I thought it matched up pretty well versus everything except for the sloper, and I just wanted to get rocks up ASAP. His only has removal is a decidui, and um, sometimes decidui don't run to fog, so I decided I could re read pilot swine. But um, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna switch out turn one. Uh, straight into uh, my Thunderous because I'm not scared because I, di I didn't want to go like hard into my Greninja in case he predicted it and went for something like uh, Something like uh, Something like Thunder Wave, but yeah, he's just gonna Mega Evolve and uh, as you're gonna see he's just gonna fire off his Scald turn one Which which I'm okay with I don't need my Thunderous that healthy so um Yeah uh, Here I believe I predict him to uh Switch out so I go for the Volt Switch because I, I figured he's not staying in and I don't think he's going hard Zygarde as he actually reveals to be Savali Electric and that that damage definitely reveals that he is a specially defensive Savali Electric which means he can also probably take my Grenin Greninja which is important. This Savali is actually going to be a pretty big annoyance because it can have Ice Beam for stuff like my Garchomp so I'm actually just going to go hard into, or not hard into, but uh, into my Pilot Swine because I want to get up Rocks again as uh here he um, just goes into his Audino as I go for er, er, rocks. Now um, uh, here I kind of considered switching out because uh, this Audino could have knockoff, but I figured I, I really wanted a toxic on this thing, so I'm just gonna go for the toxic. And um, as he's actually gonna re reveal a pretty interesting move, he's gonna go for the light screen, uh, which which got me kind of scared because if this is something like a dual, dual screens on Dino. Then um, and he had and he, and he tried to set up stuff. Uh, it could be pretty threatening, so I have to play this carefully. But uh, here I'm just gonna go for the earthquake and gauge the damage. I don't want to go hard into anything else just yet. Uh, um, that does a pretty decent chunk because now he's gonna set up the reflect. Um, which which is yeah, it's pretty scary. Um, this thing is probably light clay because we haven't seen leftovers. So um, yeah, uh, here he's gonna withdraw. The uh, Audino and go out into uh, the Decidueye as I actually predict him to switch out and go for the Toxic and I miss, which sucks a lot because I really needed this thing Toxic. Um, it was really the, his best thing on uh, taking, it was his best way of taking on my Scarf Thunderous, which I kind of wanted to use the late game win con, but uh, unfortunately I missed this Toxic. And I lose a lot of momentum pretty much because I wouldn't been, would have been able to switch in the next turn. But um, unfortunately here I'm, I'm forced to stay in because I, I, I decided to let my pilot so take damage to get a toxic off. Uh, I don't go for the icicle crash because it doesn't actually do that much. And um, and uh, yeah, I figured just the long term um, 
hindrance would be better than just going for a nice crash, getting like 60% off and, ha and having him just roost it off later. Uh, I, I, I also assumed that he probably doesn't have Heal Bell on his Hodino at this point in time. So, um, yeah, here I'm going to switch from my Pylosaurus into my Klefki, as um, I can take a Leaf Blade with these, and uh, as he just goes for the Defog, which is pretty annoying, but um, now we do know that that he is Defog Situ I, uh, we, we know two of his moves. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention that damage on Pylosaurus earlier revealed that he's actually an offensive to Situ I, like Max Attack Adamant. But it is pretty interesting because he just like has like leftovers in the fog, so I'm thinking, I, I'm I'm not really sure what this decision I said is, but um, that that calc will be important later for um, uh, oops, um, for it'll it'll be important later knowing his spread. So um, yeah, he's kind he's kind of taking on the round toxic, and um, here I don't care that he revealed the fogs. I believe I just lay up spike here, as uh, he goes out into his Zardino. And uh, yeah, so I'm perfectly fine with this. I can just I, just, I can just set up spikes on the side, you know, all day with these. And um, yeah, I go for another spike. Uh, the hazards are really important in this game because they do ensure me some important KOs, like I said. Uh, so yeah, um, here he goes for the wish, and um, I I. I here, I just, I wasn't really sure what he's going to go into. I figured he might go to Volcarona or maybe the Zygarde, but, um, or he could just stay in, but, uh, I realized I just want to go for the heal block on this turn, um, preventing anything from, uh, getting the health back and, uh, just, just, um, yeah, ju just, uh, keeping them low, but he goes onto Zygarde, so the heal block isn't going to do much, um, and uh, here I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm here. I'm just gonna go into my uh, dedicated counter to uh, Zygarde 10%, which uh, is indeed my tank growth. Um, I know it's kind of obvious, but uh, it's pretty safe. Like you can two kill him with like Life Orb Sludge Wave. As he's just gonna go for the arrows, which is great, because uh, as uh, that actually that damage actually reveals he is not choice banded, which is good to know. Um, so yeah. Uh, the reflect wears off, so he actually is like clay because they did count those turns. As um, he goes down to his Zygarde, into his Audino, as uh, the Audino is going to take another layer of spikes, and it's still poisoned. As I just went for the sleep powder, I didn't want him going like hard Volcarona. Um, I'm fine with him going into this Audino, but I just didn't want him going Volcarona, which is why I did that. So, um, yeah, uh, here I he, he's just gonna throw up a wish as I believe I click knock off because I want to get rid of this things likely so um yeah the chip damage continues to to uh, add up on the sardino which is great um and uh, so here on this next turn I'm just gonna click sleep powder again because I, I didn't want his folk run just coming in for free I couldn't really afford that to happen as he goes for the ice beam so he's actually revealed all four moves now um ice beam uh, wish Reflect and light screen, which means this thing can't touch my Greninja, which is which I, it's just good to know because my Greninja can definitely beat this because with a combination of taunt plus its plus its stabs. Uh, so yeah, he gets the wish back as um and he continues taking the toxic. So the toxic on uh, Pylostone really coming in close to this game. So um, he's actually gonna switch out into his uh, Decidueye in this turn as I actually switch into Greninja. I wasn't predicting the Decidueye, but I realized because this thing's only attacking move is the Ice Beam, I can I can take it on uh, with Taunt plus uh, my attacks, but um, because of the damage on uh, Pyloswine earlier that the Leaf Blade did, I am, I'm pretty sure that this Decidueye is not especially defensive, and especially defensive Decidueye is the only thing that can take a hit from my Greninja. So here I'm just free to fire off a Dark Pulse as he goes out into his Safali Electric, which will be able to take two Dark Pulses. So, um, yeah. Which, which, which is, uh, kind of annoying that, like, that does nothing. Uh, Pretty Ninja without Life Orb, sometimes pretty weak, but, um, yeah, here I, I'm just gonna go into my Klefki. I can take, like, multi attacks or Thunderbolts with ease as he, he goes for Ice Beam, which I'm perfectly fine with. Uh, that does nothing. I get I get my lefty recovery back. So things are looking pretty good right now. My, my team's pretty healthy. I'm starting to chip away at his team. 
and uh, my Garchomp is just looking better by the second. Now here I go for the Toxic. I almost clicked Heal Block thinking he might have Witch. And um, that would have stopped him from recovering. But um, here he does indeed reveal the rest. So, which has been annoying because I really wanted this thing dead. It was, it was good for my Thunderous and um, my Greninja. Because it's basically the main thing. It's basically the main thing stopping them from going ham. But uh, yeah. I get, I get uh, Lefty's recovery back. Um, as he's just gonna hard switch into his Zygarde 10%. Now, um, on this turn, I forget what I go for. Uh, he, yeah, he goes into the Zygarde, gets the aura break. As, oh, I actually just go for another spike, because uh, why not? Um, more chip damage. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't really care if that is his UI. Defogs that much, all, all too much. So, um, yeah. Uh, here, here he goes out. I go into my Tangrowth because I can, I can still take on the side guard. Um, if he doubles, it's not the end of the world. But uh, he just goes for the arrows again, so he's playing really safe this whole game, which is good to note. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna fire off. I believe a Leaf Storm as he does reveal the Sledge Wave, but uh, even without any special defense investment, side guard is just really weak. So I'm gonna be able to eat that up and uh, kill with a Leaf Storm. And Zygarde is out of the way, so that is the one thing else feeding my Garchomp gone. So Garchomp is looking really, really good right now. As um, Tangrowth is uh, kind of kind of expendable at this point. It's, it's it, did, it did its job in taking on the the uh, Zygarde. So here it goes onto my Volcarona, and versus this, I'm just gonna spam Sleep Powder. If he has sub, that's a problem. But I thought about it. I don't really think he had sub versus. Uh, he could have room for sub, but, um, yeah, I just hacked my Tangrowth because, uh, basically I couldn't allow Volcorn to set up for free. I just, I just, he just goes in with the Fire Dance, which, which is fine because now I'm allowed to free switch into my Greninja. And, um, because three spikes are up and his Silvali is asleep, I, I can potentially beat it if he decides to go to that. But, um, he actually just goes for the Dino, which takes three layers of spikes. I'm going to hit it with a Hydro Pump. That's going to do a ton of damage, and I can just taunt it on the next turn, so I don't have to risk Hydro missing, and um, he, he can't do anything to me, so uh, yeah, Greninja, Greninja is looking good right now, uh, I can this thing is definitely in range of Dark Pulse now, so I can just fire off the Dark Pulse, and uh, Greninja gets its first kill of the season, uh, first of many I feel, because Greninja is just such a good mod. Um, and, uh, here he goes down to the Silvali, which is his only play. Now, um, I can 3 KO this Silvali, and he does have, um, two turns of rest remaining, so I can beat this, but, uh, I don't know if he has Sleep Talk, and I also, also, even if he does have Sleep Talk, his only move to hit me would be Thunderbolt, and I also am not O-Code by an uninvested Thunderbolt, so, um, I'm pretty sure I beat this 1v1, unless he literally gets two thunderbolts from sleep talk in a row so which is pretty unlikely but um here i go for the hydro pump that's definitely a three co as um he does reveal to have the sleep talk on this turn and he does unfortunately for us get the thunderbolt but uh we are gonna live it and um yeah so uh now my greninja does die to like either ice beam or a uh, thunderbolt so but um I really don't need my Greninja this much anymore, so I'm just gonna fire off a Dark Pulse, hoping he gets rest, because like I died at Ice Beam and Third Pulse, but if he gets rest, uh, I'm in a really good spot. So um, he goes for the Sleep Talk as uh, he does get Thunderbolt again. So he gets Thunderbolt twice in a row, which is pretty unlucky. But um, here I, I run the Calcs, and because this is an especially defensive uh, Silvali without special attack investment, I. My Garchomp is not O-Code by uh, an Ice Beam, so I, I outspeed, I set up a Sword Stance, I live an Ice Beam, I outspeed the remainder of his team, three layers of spikes are up, so Slowbo guaranteed dies to having to stay in Drake, and I can hopefully just win the game in the spot. So I go into my Garchomp, um, as, uh, he, he, he does wake up this turn, which is fine, I can set up the SD. I will be able to live a nice meme. Because so Volley is weak as piss. As, uh, yeah. Um, you see, I take, I have a, a lot of HP remaining. Uh, next, I can just fire off an Earthquake. 
knock out the Sovali as um he, yeah he he only has the Slurbo, the Decidueye, and the Volcarona remaining. I have three lords of specs, so things are looking great. As uh yeah, he goes out into his make a slow bro. Um this thing does guarantee a die to devastating Drake. But uh I figured he might per might switch and switch to like uh he might like sack like a Decidueye or something, predicting the Z move, but um I still get a kill. So it's it's still worth just using the the Z move right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the Devastating Drake. We see that animation. Garchomp is surrounding itself with Z power. And yeah. Um the, the animation for this this is the first time I've seen the animation for this in game. It's pretty cool. But uh yeah, Mega Slowbro is just gonna drop uh and Garchomp is actually just gonna clean the remainder of this match with uh, Outrage. So, yeah, um, he goes on to Decidueye first. Uh, I click Outrage, and I, so yeah, we basically we uh, get, get a nice 4-0 victory versus um, versus uh, Mego and uh, the coach of the Hamilton Tour Cats. But uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like my prep was pretty good that game. I played pretty well. Uh, I was really happy when I saw Nodes Rakion, because uh, that was that was pretty scary. But um, also, I'm pretty sure if uh, if he if he got like rest once, if he got like rest and then Ice Beam with Savali versus my Greninja, then um, I I just won with uh, Greninja on the spot, because like uh, I clicked Dark Pulse versus Decidueye. I clicked Dark Pulse versus Slowbro Hydro. So, but yeah, it could have been a five vote uh, if he didn't get those that luck, but uh, it's fine. Um, we do get a five, a four of win. Garchomp picking the last four kills. So yeah, um, GG to Mego. Um, and uh, ch check out check out the channel, and I'll link in the description below. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.